M0 FXB, if you have a DMR radio, D-Star radio, Fusion radio, you have to get yourself a hotspot, okay? Now, look at this one here. This one's actually quite expensive, this one. But behind me, if you look on the screen, this company here is selling the screen and the MMDVM board. And it does include, if we just go down here, antennas, the screen, there's your board. Okay, and it even shows where the board connects if we go up here. Just look at this picture above the screen. You've got the four pins that you can put pins on the board that you've purchased, which is this photograph, or solder them. Yeah, it's four little pins, okay? Very easy to do. And then it's up to you to make a case. Now, the reason this is a fantastic deal is because it's £25 delivered and the screen, and I've got one here that I'm using, but like I said, this cost me nearly £200. This one does have a board in it with some batteries, uh, 18650 batteries. The board charges the batteries and then it's a Pi Star, it's a Pi Zero in this. Um, I think and that's, that's this is what it looks like now no one's transmitting of course when it does transmit it looks like the screen you've got there on the left now you are going to need to dig out a raspberry pi i'm pretty sure well i know it'll work with a pi zero three b four b five but probably need to it probably work with a two have a little search around so if you've got a raspberry pi lying around the board is effectively a, a radio sort of transmitter to in the way where it will transmit the digital signal in and around your house uh, it will actually go for um, i find it goes easily for 50 yards yeah um there's a couple of antennas that you don't have to use it in the dual hat configuration you can use it as a single hat because i find that a lot easier <laughs> um but you can do the whole dual hat thing with dmr and the idea is because dmr has two time slots so basically imagine the the channel is cut in half well, one half you could be talking to one person, the other half could be transmitting and, 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 and making one of your other only DMR radios busy. Uh, and But also you can sneak in and use those halves to add commands, okay? Uh, and tell it to disconnect and things like that. So it's from a learning point of view, it's excellent. If you haven't got a hotspot and you're using DMR D Star Fusion, you are missing out massively, massively, because it is literally like having a repeater on your table. There's still radio, there's still RF, because the RF goes from the board to the, any radio in your house, could be a mobile radio, as long as it's digital. It's not an all-star node, that's a different technology, and we'll talk about that separately uh, in another video. So this is an absolute bargain, a real chance to get yourself a color screen, dual band, preloaded, because this, this is the key thing here. The software being preloaded onto the screen, to me, is worth, is is worth 20 pound on its own um and uh, you can buy the screens on their own so here it is and i mine was lower because they're they're offering discounts because of black friday so mine was only about 20 pound delivered and hasn't even got here yet and look at the stations on the screen you can see there kp4 alpha zulu h and this is um a photograph that i've taken from a review uh, and I know these work well. And the learning curve, once you've learned how to configure Pi Star, configure your radio, it's really good. And never be frustrated by learning. Never think, oh, why did I bother? Oh, I'm going to send it back, which is a very quick go-to for many people, including me. Um, you have to sort of learn to go, no, I'm learning. I'm enjoying learning. This is my hobby. When you go fishing for fish and you spend five hours and you catch nothing, you don't give up fishing, do you? you? You just go again. And it's the same with learning on ham radio stuff. You're learning and enjoying the learning. Get a cup of coffee, relax, take a deep breath, go for a walk, and then go back to it. Watch videos, uh, reach out if you need to. But I find that you're way better off just watch lots of videos and then you'll get it. Because ultimately, this board is, is connecting your digital radio to the internet, where the talk groups are, where the reflectors are where the c4fm rooms are it's it's that's what it's doing it's, and if you use a repeater that's near you say i've got a repeater near me five miles away um and i reach out to that repeater and then i contact people digitally well they're doing, they're using one of these boards yeah um and uh, the thing is other people want to use that repeater well when it's your own hotspot here in your house you need to get yourself a dmr number 
if you're using DMR, but C4FM and D-Star, register for D-Star, C4FM, you just need to get your call sign in there, and you, it will open up a whole world, and I can honestly say this, that having an MMDVM hotspot, um, and learning even to use Pi Zeros, I've got one here, it's a little hotspot here, and, it's, and I, I have several, because I just think they're great fun to tinker with, that on the top is another dual hat, very small, and underneath is a Pi Zero computer, so if I plug this Pi Zero um, and I plug into the HDMI out on this, I get a full Raspberry Pi computer. Now you can add a keyboard to that and uh, it's a mini HDMI and to a 50 inch screen. The hotspot doesn't do the hot, the 50 inch screen. There is someone that has written software where it can. Um, and um, I, if I find that, I'll make a video, yeah? But it opens up a whole new part of your hobby that you will love and um tinkering with digital is great fun doesn't mean it's replacing radio or real radio as the negative people like to bring up very often what they're really saying is i can't bother to learn it that's what that's what they're actually saying which is fine that's everyone's right if you can't be bothered to learn something great i can't be bothered to learn loads of things yeah um but i also can be bothered to learn all kinds of stuff tinkering with this little thing here this board here is an ESP32 2432S028. And these can be configured now uh, to do all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm exploring it with my friend who's now selling the one that um, M3 Uniform Romeo Echo is doing. So if I get some power on this. Um, and email him, M3 Uniform Romeo Echo. And he's, a, he's, a, he's improving the screen. Is this, is a, it could be wireless. I've powered it with USB. Um, but it could be wireless, very easy to power um, with this battery. I mean, it's hollow in there. Okay, so lots of room for a little battery in there. And what it does via Wi-Fi and, you, and picking up the information that is already being sent from your MMDVM Pi Star hotspot, yeah? And I'll show you a Pi Star dashboard because um, it's really worth learning. Uh, it picks up the details. So on here, you've got your call sign, your talk group, the status TXRX duration, but there's going to be a load more information on there wirelessly. So you can grab your hotspot, plonk it down, and leave it in your shack, go in the garden, sit down with a cup of coffee, take this with you, and you'll see the information your hotspot is receiving and transmitting. And it's wireless. So you can put it on the table. So you've got your radio in one hand blah 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 and you can just sit there on the table in the distance and just look at it and it's wireless i think it's fantastic um little invention it's going to show that people taking advantage of what these esp32 boards can do and don't forget these days chat gbt it will write the app for you but it does still take work you can't just go more being out sorry about my voice um and it just does it you have to say well it will say what do you what do you want the app to do what do you want what board are you using what do you want it to do you're going to need to do this you're going to need to do that and it goes on like that so let me just show you the pi star dashboard and then we'll end the video so here's a hotspot you can buy here from dv mega very nice hotspot of course it's pre-assembled everything's been made for you it's got a case and I'm just putting in the IP address so I can find it. Just show you literally how I do it. Go into my browser. And the IP address does appear on the screen. And there's my Pi Star hotspot configuration page. So let's have a look now. This is the dashboard. So when it's when it's busy, um, you'll see the activity here. And here it comes straight away. To configure it, if we go in here, sign in Pi Star Raspberry, which you know, you'll find that on Google. Look, DMR. This is simplex. If you went for duplex, you would click here duplex and it's a dual board. Bit more complicated to configure. And then um, let's have a look here. Frequency, location, DMR number, call sign. Brandmeister is the server, the computer you're basically linking to with all the talk groups and so on and so on. You can configure Wi Fi. So lots more learning on that and then the, what's happening now is that it will transmit it is transmitting right now um it will transmit and then my radio my dmr radio if i can see one in the near me i'd pick it up we'll we'll have it let me find 
These are quite cheap, these. It's the same as the Anytone 168, and this is called the Eritone 168, but I think G Open GD77. No, Radtel have bought one out. They call it the RT7D. <laughs> same radio. Um, watch this when I turn it off and I turn it on. <clears throat> Lovely little compact thing. I've loaded Superman boot up image on mine. Let me just let it turn on a minute. So I'm waffling. Look at that. The best Superman ever. And the other boot ups I like is um, I really like the uh, R2D2 C3PM. Thanks for watching my channel. Um, if you're really enjoying my channel, please join my channel because it's only a dollar a month and you will become part of our community help support the channel and if you really if i've really helped you um think about buying me and my wife a coffee and we'll literally get that money and uh we'll literally go for a coffee bye for now seven three